Hey, what's up, people? Today we're gonna be reviewing Icon Airframe Pro. <laughs> right here on, on Fnatic. Fnatic. What's up, everybody? What's what, up? what we got here, bro? We got uh, Icon, the new helmet style. Um, they completely design, redesigned their uh, helmet. So I might have known for you there had to be a helmet. It's, it's, I think you have enough. How many helmets you got right I now? I only got three, actually. I could swear I've seen like 30,000 helmets. You're supposed to change your helmet every five years, even though you don't drop it. Are you really supposed to change every five You're years? You're supposed to change it. Why is that? Five, just because the shell, you know, it right. gets old, it gets dried, it gets dinged here and there. Right. Especially if you. Well, hopefully it, it doesn't get dinged every here and there. Well, it's a helmet, so right, it's supposed right, to. Right. But right. yeah, five years. It's usually what people recommend. So what is this one? This is called uh, Airframe Pro. Um, it's from Icon. They completely redesigned the uh, helmet, the shape, the way how it works. And um, I never liked Icon helmets. It was a little bit too round for me, but this why you, one... Why did you decide to pick this one up then? Uh, because of their design, actually. I don't like flashy helmets, but this one, it's just everything f flew with... It the, flew. With the design. It flew. And it was... Uh, just, you gotta... You guys probably know. Alright. So, well, let's, let's, let's check talk, it out. Right? Let's talk and more, uh, more showing. So... Comes in a box. Nothing special. Once you open it, you get this user manual, the top cover. Okay. It goes down there. Nice, then, nice packaging. Yeah, it's actually really good packaging. Um, it's that's your helmet. I'm actually liking the just a little bag. I can just keep use the bag for stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really good. Nice bag. More stuff in there. Manuals, brochure, whatever. Stuff that no one cares about. Yeah, this is what really matters. Right. This. So it's in a little pouch. And the pouch has a little pocket. So you can put your gloves, I guess. Stuff. So would you actually carry the helmet in this, in this pouch with you? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, but someone might. Somebody, yeah. you never know. Or it, actually, no, if I'm going like on a trip and I'm going to take my bike and my car, I'll I will keep my helmet in a pouch. Right, so. right. So this okay. is the baby. Ooh, rah. So there you go. That's that's not that's, the original shield. I I replaced it with the mirror or the but, chrome. Dude, this is hot. It is a very nice helmet. This uh, is hot. I'm feeling this. I like I said I usually don't like graphic stuff, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has all these gold flakes on it, and it's just the overall design, the way how they designed it it just flows with the helmet i'm i'm feeling this a lot and you guys are probably gonna we're gonna show them yeah you wearing yeah. it and all that stuff too so yeah i'm definitely going definitely want to get some footage just get you on your bike with the helmet on uh -huh. showing how you represent that's how i do it gotta do it like that so yeah that's the helmet um couple of things what's, what's the inside look like when you oh it? that's how the inside looks it looks real it looks like Lots of little comfy straps in there. Yeah. I'm not gonna get too technical into it because there's a lot of sites out there that talks about how light it is, what kind of stuff to have inside. All you guys show people what it looks like. Yeah, I just want you guys to know how it looks like and also my personal opinion. So what is your personal I've opinion on this one? I use it for about a week. Right. Um, think, I'll start off with things that I didn't like. It's the, uh, the pin lock. This thing, it's once it's on, it's really hard to pull it back out again. It's so while it's on your helmet, it, it's kind of annoying. It's it's not as efficient as other helmets. Right. Then but don't but don't you want that to lock hard? Well, see, I don't. The problem is that if you don't lock it, there's a lot of like a space down here, so the air will come through. So when you're riding on a freeway, you ha you you want to lock it, but. A lot of other helmets, it gives you an option. You can close it all the way and then lock it separately, but. Icon did it this way to right. save weights right, or right. whatever. To make yeah. it lighter. Yeah, I, I just, I don't like it. That's just me. I can't help it. I don't like it. That's one thing I didn't like. And um, another thing that I didn't like, well, I can't say I didn't like it, but right. they made this back hump right here. So when you're tucked in and right. you're racing, it doesn't touch your uh, suit, the hump. Okay. And that's a really cool feature. I really like it, but right. at the same time, when you're putting on your helmet, you gotta be a little bit careful because most of the helmets, these are all foamy area. Right. So you would just put it on without thinking about right, it. Right. And I had a couple of times where I hit my head and I'm just like, ow. But that's just like a minor thing. That's just me. This thing is hot, but, homie. This is really nice. 
How big is this like comparing to other helmets? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna compare that. Um, Cause this is Shoei RF 1100. So most common, one of the common helmets out there. And let's compare it side by side. So they're both large. Yeah. To the left, to the right. So as you can see, yeah, compared to Shoei, it's a little bit more rounded shape yeah but this was more more sleeker yeah it's more like a, a egg shape yeah yeah but yeah they've changed the whole design you can go to their website you will they talk about it all over the place so you can see what they've changed and how the air flows and that was another thing that i was going to get to this helmet flows air like there's no tomorrow this vent system it sucks in a lot of air into your helmet and it will just suck all the air out. The only problem I had is that when you're on a freeway, because of these two side vents, oh, right. uh -oh. these two side vents have a wind channel that goes through right here. So what the problem is that with the visor all the way down, you still get a ton of air to your eye and it was actually drying my eyes. Really? So I had to close not only the center part, but first I thought it was a centerpiece and it didn't do anything. And I realized it was these two ones. So in a and, sense- And that it, helped out a lot. It helped, yeah, it stopped it. But that's kind of annoying. Instead of just closing, normally right, right. a lot of ones are just- But again, that's a little nitpick. Yeah, it, so. it's nitpick. Right. But like but I said- But again, when you're spending this money, money, much money on a, on a helmet, you can't nitpick. Cause it's, it's not cheap. It's, it's yeah, it's 440 bucks. Um, I'm, if you have discounts here or there, maybe but you can that, get it cheaper, but- that's, that's not a cheap helmet, so. It's, but it's also not too expensive either. Right, right. So it's, it's, it's in the middle part, but I mean, for the price, it's an amazing helmet. If you like Icon helmets, you will love this. If you haven't used Icon before, try out their Airframe Pro. It's a really good helmet. I, I like it. The graphics hot. I'm, I'm liking it. Graphic that. is amazing. I, I like that a lot. Can't, can't hate on the graphics. Check that and out. a lot of people, would get, they gave me a lot of compliments. They were asking like, oh, is that the new Icon? And I'm like, yep. And uh, yeah, and that's that's our product review. Uh, really light. Oh, and when you're tucked in, uh, the helmet does feel really stable. Like because of this, uh, the shape down here has like a little winglet right here. And just the overall shape, it, it keeps your head very stable. So that was another thing that was really okay. impressed. And they said they're gonna have a carbon version pretty soon. It's 600 bucks for full carbon. And a lot of people say it's actually lighter than the uh, AGV. Uh, I think it's called GP Pro or GP something. You're making that up. No, I'm not. So <laughs> <laughs> they have the carbon one, AGV, and it's supposed to be lighter than that one. So um, yeah, cool. check it out if you get a chance. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a buy. Um, yeah, and that's it. Cool. Peace.